Hello. Good morning. Welcome aboard for another uh, ride along slash work aside video. Good morning. Come on, come on. Okay, that. So today from recycling, plastics, not shopping bags, but as well, people bung it in regardless, and paper, twin pack vehicle. So two lifts on the right, one on the left. Pretty straightforward. No point in tipping the bin at this point, not even 20% full, so we'll leave it on. Cool, cool. So two sets of lift controls, the middle one and the offside one. So off the ground a bit. Cool, cool. I right, still uh, picking up, so we're gonna drive into the next road on the right. Come on, there we go. Yeah, yeah, as I was looking at the disc sizes coming up, I was thinking, hmm, didn't look too keen for a nose in. Good morning. Hello. Using the curb mirror, so big one, curb. Got a mat grow a bit of that side. There you go. Big pile as mentioned. So I'll swing it to the right, see if there's food to get easy and get past. There's plenty of room, it's whether or not he chooses to take the option. Go a bit more to the right. Near the curb. I'll be loading this by myself, of course. 
mate. So gloves, gloves. The reason I take, keep taking my gloves off. These are waterproof, but you don't have as much dexterity as other gloves. They're not necessarily uncomfortable, but they are inconvenient. Right, so. So, recycling loaders have a bin each. Oh Christ, which has lots of, uh, I don't know what these are, star pointed screws, torque screws, drilled around the rim. Hang your bin, hang your bags off that. Paper sacks get dumped in the middle. They do a street. I'm doing something somewhere else when we arrive. The whole street's ideally in one spot. Be it on their bin still, or as we see here, all uh, in a pile, ready for collection. Pretty straightforward. Personally, I'm finding this, oh hello again, uh, a lot less stressful than the back bins. Brilliant. So that's the worst I've got to deal with, bag splitting. See what I mean? Do it again. Put it in another bag, but feel kind of bothered. That'll do. You sort it out, won't you? Yeah, sure thing. Ah, oh, Jesus. Sorry, old man. See what I mean? It's exactly what I'm talking about. Couldn't be bothered. Hmm, we'll come back for that. Cool, cool. As a result, because it's puffy plastic and no one crushed it down, it feels like the hopper quick. So it seems I'm forever standing outside watching this. Because no point in pulling up to the next bit of work with it all full up, because that's just gonna interrupt the flow of the next guy. Excuse me. So it is 25 to nine, Friday the 14th of Jan, 2022. It's one degree when we started deal with the waterproof gloves is all this recycling goes out the night before so it's soggy Ooh. Colleagues walking a bag up, so presumably one went out late or after we'd already served the address. Nothing we can't deal with. Where to, my guy? That slip roady thing there. Uh, if you drop me here, I'll go up that side. If you can take care of this side, yep. and I'll see you in the next one. Me on. Here, do ya? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, a lot less stressful than black bins. Less heavy. Yes, everything has to be picked up off the ground, but it's not too bad. 
and also there's minimal interaction with black bins there's always a bit more people running out of the house with bags of filth that's somehow now my problem or people have a house where they've got an enormous bin outside and just uh, I, I can only describe it as a train wreck of stuff outside and then twitchy curtains or the bar the one sentence that gets me are you not gonna take that not would you could you perhaps excuse me are you not gonna as soon as i get greeted with trolls travel mode so a little picture there so raise the bins about foot two foot off the ground so you can clear junctions and drive about so the bin lifts don't hit the floor uh, that's auto mode so every time a bin gets put to the lift it automatically takes it up if you don't have that on you've got to operate manually that operates the uh, bin guard this thing here so if you put a bulk bin on you would raise it out of the way so the bulk bin can go in fully if you leave it down bulk bin donk 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 doesn't empty single bin operation so just one bin lift or bulk doubles so the, the light would go to the right and both bin lifts would go up simultaneously up and down uh, this one so this, uh, I think this particular switch operates both. So that's bangs. So if it go, if the bin is on automatic mode, how many times do you want it to bang? So bin goes to the top. So up, one, two. That's how often do you want it to cycle automatically? So every third or sixth automatic lift, it will crush by itself. But we don't use this in auto. We use these on manual all day. So uh, words will come to me. Yeah, we just keep banging the uh, compaction button manually. So, near side compaction. So you might be able to see the reflection of stuff going on. And then the plastic side. Jesus, that is a lot. So, see, very full. That was probably 10, 15 houses worth of stuff. Mm, I did press it. So that green means it's ready to use. Give it a long press to uh, actually cycle it. So although that appears empty, there's still a decent amount in the hopper, so we'll clear it one more time. So when we next load it up, there's a fresh bowl, if you will. Drive up right, uh, Humber, isn't it? Uh, we'll go straight to the top because uh, Neil come out the top one. Okay. Back, so. No problem. Oh, yep, short, hang on, Ambrek neutral. Please feel free, my guy. Knock the indicator off then. So, mate, get his bin off. Lowering it down. So, I imagine he's going to start here and do this. So, indicator, mirrors. Yeah, we're all good. Looking up the road as well. Yeah, so I can see someone on a very far horizon, but that shan't affect us for some time yet. Cool, matey's coming down. 
So what we'll do, hmm, we'll let this truck go past. It's jolly busy with school nonsense now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he's largely coming to us. What we'll do is we'll dump it on this corner. Unload is press on. Cool. Yeah, he did say go to the top. I saw he was coming down. Do you want to take some off? That's right. Okay. And also, a uh, bit naughty for school traffic. I was like, no, man, dump it here. Yeah. Morning. Full again already. One bin. One bin's worth. Yeah, ma'am. Oh, I'll roll it forward in and get these out of the way. Uh, how much space we got? So we're going for that brown bin there, but I'll walk back and help my guy. And I'll do one or two of these that I can obviously see it in the meantime so roll it forward a bit more hopefully she's worked out that i'm bringing it to a stop she'll have to because it's happening oh oh blimey that's what you get that's what you get morning you're right you're joining us i yeah. oh, doing your mess you recorded yes every word and gesture Obscene and civil. Oh. Where's the other gazer? Why oh, is it just you? There, uh, very good. No, man, go ahead. Thank you. Man. Yeet. So. As you can see, brown bins are out, so even though it's the 14th of January, got a keen old bunch of arborealists in Chelmsford. Jesus, like the M1 up here. So I could reverse the vehicle back and forth, but it's on a junction, it's a school, well it's near a school, school's just about 100 yards over there. It's one minute to nine. People are rushing, people are watching. Low morning sun glare. It's not worth the risk, it's hey, he. Yeah, sufferable. I've seen him carry worse. So we'll persevere with this, we'll wait for him. I'll help him load his stuff and we shall continue forth. Oh, excuse me. Hooper Loy of excitement. I've forgotten where I got these from. Um, that one there is a, there, and the other one here. They'll work it out. They'll be fine. Yeah, brown bins is hard work. Very heavy stuff, especially when it's fresh cut, wet stuff. 
God, it's heavy. Back braking, Lisa. Not for me, thank you. Yeah, man. He's good. This is what I meant earlier, something's always happening. I'm returning this, he's loading that. Mate, he's getting that strip ready. Much more efficient than black bins. Well, black bins at least. Bins on, forward a bit. Bins on, dong, 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 dong. It wastes a lot of time. So every few meters you're in stop, compact, revving up, handbrake. It takes long. Whereas now, whee! gesture in there is keep going so they're gonna quite comfy get all this on so he's asking me to blast forwards and start loading further up so i would say uh, railings 
it's about a reasonable place to stop so we'll dump it behind this Corsa a bit more, a bit more, a bit more in there they're going in there anyway so there's no point in trying to battle for the same space yeah, nice fella he is damn good worker Cool. So I'll plot it down the floor, we'll come back to it. It's near my driver's door, so I'm gonna have to go back that direction anyway. So this is suitably full now. So bung it on, should be an auto. It's not, not a problem. So fully up. Up, 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 up. Do a compaction whilst we're up here. Lower. Yeah, they're both nearly on top of me anyway, so. I'll do this stuff around here, but there's no point in uh, taking the bin with me. Good. Yep. Sure thing. Huh. There is worse. Come on. So you have to get in, reverse up there, which goes up to... Yeah, ma'am. So, reverse right hand down, and it goes back over my left shoulder. I believe there's a Mercedes SL at the top, the older two-seater sports car coupe thing. So, clear, mirrors. Yeah, we're good, camera. Good, no one behind, let's go. So every time I reverse, I said this before in an early video, earlier. Um, fog lights and hazards, as well as beacons every time I'm in reverse. The more light, the better. More information you could convey, like, although this is 12, 12 foot four. Okay, interesting. I said the black bin line is at 11 foot 10. So it's 12 foot four tall, which is 3.75 meters. It's bright white, makes a lot of noise. Um, but yeah, people still walk out behind us. Yeah, as much information as I say, say, get the hell out of the way, do not walk behind me, so forth. So, hazards, fog, out the way. So, we've got some there, one, two, So, I'll say, grab the bin off, walk down, walk up, all that nonsense. Mate, he's out today by the looks of it. So, a courtesy plastics compaction, just to ensure you've got space when I start launching them in. Wee! Oh, come on. So, ook. So, yes, Chelmsford yeah. Council, unlimited recycling. As much as you want, we'll take. Black bins, strictly one bin per house, lid shut, no side waste, but that's not very well policed. And so, if you did, if you did, if, if it was taken literally that bins with lids open weren't taken, you'd be done by like 10 o'clock every morning. Such is the uh, character of the people around here. Oh, I'm born and bred, but people really don't care. Um, not my problem, Jack. Just take it, shut up, hurry up. Got a lot of abuse the other day. A lot of C words, a lot of W's, a lot of F's. Did his bin. He went suitably nuts because we didn't take the six sacks that were dumped by his front door. Went into an absolute tirade, crazy, real unhinged character. 
taking pictures of the vehicle, you'll be in big trouble, boys. Oh, you'll lose your jobs. I like, shrug my shoulders. Yeah, righto. Cut going out to the yard, so I'll supervisor. Here's the address, I've written it down anyway. This guy is a nutcase. I'm quite happy to go back in the truck now with you next to me. We'll have a chat with the guy, but nah, they were quite happy to wait for an email, so whatever. But yeah, so. Ooh, that's oh, it's 18 years old. Um, words will come to me. Do, 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 do. Yes, so recycling, unlimited. So we offer quite a compliment here. Get a brown bin which is free and indeed you're allowed to which the council will subsidize for you pay there's no extra rates no collection fees two bins all the garden waste you want every fortnight of course year round used to be the case in the winter they would come off the road for a couple of months now nah, man full time now grass is always cutting it could be torrential rain that bin will still have stuff in it they'll uh, ensure their clippings get taken away. Uh, we offer food waste and them little green caddies, which uh, you put uh, compostable sacks full of your biodegradable food waste. No meat, no fish, no bones. Oh, getting sidetracked here. Yeah, little green sacks which are uh, compostable but not for home use, i.e., if you have a compost bin in your garden, do not fill it with these because it's gone like a large. I've seen the tipping hall where it goes, but I don't know where it goes after that. Good. Um, yeah, so enormous pile of food waste rotting. An Arctic Lake lorry with a um, sheet over the top, curtainy kind of thing, takes it. I don't think it's a moving floor lorry. I believe it's just, no, no, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. It's either that or a tipping trailer. I think it's a moving floor where the bed of the vehicle does that on hydraulics and it shifts the load out. Ugh. Um, bottles and cans so glass color doesn't matter bung it all in one box and in that same box put all your tins drinks and food please make sure they're washed out and when we the loaders ooh, get to your street we'll uh then i've ordinarily they have two bins or they could take it straight to the side of the vehicle there's like um i think something on the near side there's these teeth where the bins go on, you hook a green box on that. It's the length of the vehicle between the, the steering axle and the drive axle. And this whole thing, the whole side of it will lift up and tips over. So imagine this movement. You've probably seen it in your local areas, wherever you're viewing this video from. Um, yeah, so it's glass, used to be years ago, it'd be brown glass and green glass now. All glass goes the same place. Whoops. Yeah, again, I've got sidetracked, so I've accidentally put paper in plastic. It's done now, no one's hurt, whatever. That attitude, you ain't getting nothing with a K on the end. Nothing. Manners cost nothing. Bit of courtesy and politeness. Ask me, don't bark orders at me. You ask if I can take extra, not tell me you shall, because then you get nothing. Be yeah, recycling much better so we're gonna overshoot this get there bing 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 work it backwards um yeah one plastic one a uh, paper sack and a couple of plastic fellows but yeah this is okay so yeah so not the best of knots have to pierce it there we go so yeah on a, on a screw done really is quite that simple So you couldn't do this on black bins, look. A whole, no sorry, street, but that's a what? So, it's all about 10, 12, 14 houses there. All gonna go in one bin. Can't be done on black bins, it takes too long. Every bin has to go up on the lift. Whereas this, oh, it's standard doctrine to uh, pick it up. So yeah, goes much quicker. And also, because it's a uh, loose paper, and plastics, it compacts better. So, so it's like this is my week, first week, and it's day three. So, we're on Friday. On Tuesday, I did some cardboardy stuff and helped other crews. But yeah, this stuff goes on one load. So, one tip. So, in Essex, 
our particular authority, Chelmsford. Um, plastic gets taken elsewhere. Come on, there we go. Plastic gets taken elsewhere, which then gets sifted for a warehouse like a giant conveyor belt. So I park next to it, dump it on the floor, forklift with a pair of scoopy arms, pushes said plastic into like a um, conveyor belt with slats on it, so it drags it up the belt. Oh, brilliant. Um, and paper we take back to the yard. And I believe they bail it up or something, and a cut an art it comes in. Oh, oh, wrong one. Once, twice a week, and uh, takes it away. Cool, cool. We'll go up the near side, much too hazardous to be uh, walking in the road. That's the problem with this stuff. Look, all loose, messy, filthy, dropping all over the place. I'll do what I can, that's what I can offer. Oh, Jesus, shouldn't have touched that now. Huh. Should have left it. Close enough. I ain't got a broom or board, all I got is a shovel. The shovel's been no good to pick up them little tiddly bits. Yeah. So, uh, it's paper, it's biodegradable, and if not, birds can make nests out of it. Oh. Belt on, because we're a good boy. Always. So we're aiming for that big old pile behind the van. So rather than load it in two separate locations, we'll just bang it on one. <sighs> yeah, yeah, come on. There we go. So in we go. Dee, 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 dee. So yeah, matey, pile, stop the vehicle about the end of the curb. So offside mirror, a bit more, a bit more. Rear axle was passed, camera, handbrake on. That simple. We'll do it quick curtsy compaction because I fully expect the plastic to be a uh, Getting a bit hectic already. Lower the bin. Come on. There we go. People not tying their bags properly. Bend your knees, not your back. Spinning round, yada yada yada. Ugh. And another benefit to this compared to black bins, something is always happening. Whereas on a black uh, black bins. If a bin's not on the lift, nothing's happening. This, someone's loading it, someone's piling it up, someone's hooking it on their bin, there's always something happening. So it's, I, I dare say it's much more efficient. So despite the large volume of work that we got today, or so week so far, we should make good progress. So I'm aiming for a reverse left, come out and reverse up there. Nice and gently, I says falls about on the pavement. Now they're not concentrating. As far as none of these got phones in their hand. So he spread a bit of peace and love. He, he 
join the pavement to enable me to continue moving forward. And as such, I'll give it a small hand gesture to say thanks. What knows it in? All right, normally I'd reverse it in there, but he wishes for me to know. So we should be able to make this. Yeah, look at that. Inches, but all legit, all above board. Bit more, bit more. I'm going to give a bit of reverse, get close to me old mate. So glare's a bit poor, but I can see where he is. So I've got sunglasses on. Right, go two, three meters more, and that'll do us. Until he shouts, I would say about there as a courtesy. Gloves. Yes. Yeah, man. What, one on my left shoulder. Yeah. No problem. Come back to that. So I should have bought, brought the bin with me in hindsight, but just keep stuff moving. Stuff's always happening. I'll do it by hand. What's going on up there? I oh, can't, I need to get past that. I can wait then. Yeah, she's good. Hut, hut. So I've been down. So yeah, sunglasses. Good friend of mine bought me years ago. Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Tint level number three. So pretty dark. I think it's the darkest they do that say that you're still allowed to drive for them. Um, he was giving to me the buses. Oh Christ, what? Five, six years ago? Unfortunately, that guy's died now. Paul, rest in peace. Paul Stutley, fine guy, very nice gentleman. He bought them, didn't like them. Do you want them? Want no money? No, no, have them. Jesus, thank you. And these are like a uh, second skin. So comfortable. Anytime I'm not wearing them and it's daytime, I'm, I'm fr I can see, I feel that I'm frowning all the time. Whereas these on, it's like a pair of uh, comfortable slippers or shaking hands with an old friend. Very comfortable. Yes, bless your soul. Knotted two free bags together, bang, comes up in one piece. Thank you very much. in a separate video later but I'll link it so it's all edited into one. So two hoppers on the right, hopper on the left is the near side. So these buttons here operate the, the uh, plastic crusher. So blade operation, might be able to see the uh, animation. So roof, bottom of it, and a, a uh, direction where I'd show that it's gonna be scoopy scoopy. I'm not sure what you'd call that. Basically that raises the blade fully to the top. So if you're having problems with blockages and what have you, 
that's a bell to alert the driver. It's like a beep beep, little buzzer, and an emergency stop. How are we getting on? How are we getting on? Yeah, he'll be with us shortly. Uh, whew, general bin lift. So I had to sort some stuff out on the blower. Um, So yes, glass and tins go on one lorry. Paper and plastics is what we're driving today. And there's cardboard as well. Big part at the top, mate, you asked me to reverse in. Yeah, cardboard as well, cardboard sacks, as many as you want. Ordinarily every house gets one, but if you want more, you order more. Now he said, oh yeah, he did say reverse and Normally you can drive in, you saw it in one of my, I think it's the first video I ever did. But yeah. Many vans up there, so we'll reverse him. And we'll go to the top first, where someone should be waiting for me, hopefully. Yeah, I can see he's working down. And then we'll come back and do these. Um, yes, yeah, so we do offer a full compound recycling, all free, no extra cost to the resident, but people don't use it enough. I quite often get to a bin, lift the lid. Uh, I, oh, bloody hell, this one's heavy. You lift the lid, car, plastics, tins. What do we need to do? to ensure that the minimum waste goes to landfill. Something we've discussed numerous times, charge people, fines or penalties or, there's no negative incentive, if you will, to ensure this gets done. We'll take it regardless. We have a missed bin system here, report him. So if any of your collection gets missed, all you gotta do is go tippity tap on the keyboard and we have to come rushing back. But people use this quite often as a carte blanche to get as much as they want taken. So you do like a bin and I oh, quick chuck an extra sack on. Like they flash a fake smile. You take it as a courtesy, then you're there again the next day because they've refilled the bin. Makes me furiously angry. Um, that's why in all my videos you've seen so far, I'm constantly writing stuff on the A4 clipboard. So when I, next morning you click on, got missed bins, and you go, do, 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 uh, nah, I, and then you compare it to my shit, go, mm -mm, I wrote it down, they had extra waste out. And then they'll contact the customer again and go, nah, -uh, that's your problem but people treat this like a skip removal service. It will just take everything, anything, as much as you want. Yes, so no, sir, free bags full, sir. Not at all, not the case. I'm a human being. Respect, dignity, courtesy. Ask, don't tell. May I, could I, not you shall, you must. Come on, there we go. Um, yeah, but I say there's no, there's no punishment. There is no, the only consequences are borne by us, the employees, the customers, i.e. the people living in these gaffes that, oh, sit by hand, um, dump stuff out en masse. No consequence, because we'll be there again in a fortnight. It's gonna be the same. Nothing gets done. We're wrong no matter what we say. It's not right. There's no uh, backing. So, and I say, no, we can't take that. They'll write and complain. And you've got to go back and take it anyway. No gaff. Somewhat uh, disenfranchised, like this and disenfranchises someone where it feels like you, when you make decisions based upon rules which you've been told you have to follow, that you're not going to get a suitable back in and say, yep, you've done the correct thing there. We'll support you. Don't worry about any issues. It's dealt with. No, not <laughs> I'm not sure if that's typical of this place, if that's commonplace for our all waste management slash refuse collection. I don't know. What? It's just a job. It's not a death sentence. He's got a job. At least I'm working. Granted, I'm not employed per se. I'm a near agency bod. Hence why I get chucked on everything everywhere all the time. But, um, yeah, I've got regular income. I've got work. There are a great many people that wish they could and they cannot. However, there is also an even larger majority that don't want to that could. Oh, where are we going? Oh, wow, we golf breaks. decent.
Do you want it on that one or you keep going? Sure, ma'am. Yeah, you might recognise these locations from my first video. Late last year, I don't know. I think it's September, October time. Quite a sunny day it was. Two loaders doing brown waste. Um, yeah, the beer and, lo beer and lorry HGV drive POV number one. Right, hmm. Well, we'll swing it out so I can pick up that thing. It's not essential, but try and leave it in better condition than when we found it. Not unreasonable, though. Bend with the knees. Bend with the knees. Ooh, pipes. Oh, bless your soul. That's exactly what I was going to be doing. Good man. Whew. Truly a stunning day. Good day to be alive. Stand to make you, or has he done that by now? Charging, not sodding around. <sighs> Bit more, my guy. There you go, gaze up. Nice jumper. Around it clockwise. No. Elderly people come back, so we anti clockwise then. No problem.
Yeah, dude. A bit more. How's that? Cool, cool. Here, do you, ma'am? Yes, sir. So plop your ear, then we yeah. blast on down. So to more. Have a quick slurp whilst we're waiting. Oh, that's my first drink since about seven this morning. Mmm. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Beacon's on. So. Uh, well, we'll let him bing, 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 pick up bits. I dare say, go straight for the elderly people. So, semi attached houses, bungalows, elderly. Actually, mm, yeah, was, yeah, we'll start it here. We'll grab the near side curb. Start here, in which time that'll give Matey a chance to uh, catch up. A bit more, a bit more. Yeah, plenty of space. Woo! Matey to catch up. I'll do this. He's been a suitably decent amount of uh, stuff on top. That's all plastics. I'll do it by hand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Sometimes the Velcro is too strong. It's a decent thick bag though, but there we go. Yeah, so, mm, yeah, he's up there. Whoop. Oh, crumps. Let's do a bit in this direction. So one, two gaffs. Maybe like third, just off the lamppost if there's any more. Yeah, so do up to the lamppost, hook stuff on, load it up, back to the lorry empty by which time? Yeah, mate, you should start catching us up. We'll empty both our things. I'll do that. He might do that. Feels like I'm forever pressing this button.
both doing that, so I'll reverse in here. Oh. Well, it's pretty barren. I'm really the only vehicle moving. Fogs, hazards. Looking down to your destination, good. Clear junction, offside mirror before I swing out. Near side mirror, check the curb. Offside mirror again. Camera, near side mirror. Offside, we're going. Keep switching between the two. Hold a decent line to the curb. See? For you budding HGVers or uh, people that might be starting this kind of work soon, it's straightforward enough. Granted, this is pretty spacious. There's stuff, uh, both in channels and stuff we've done today prior to filming that was two, three inches from mirrors each time. Naughty for space. And that's the UK now. Streets aren't designed with this in mind. I'm not trying to get cars and garages anymore. Yeah, garages now is for us. Bicycles that don't get ridden, a lawnmower that gets used twice a year, barbecue, and suitcases. You can't fit cars and garages anymore. I was saying about his gloves earlier. Dexterity is pretty poor, so you can't really feel what you're doing. But I'd rather these than the gloves I normally wear. Yeah, thin fitted ones that uh, they get soaked and your hands get very itchy, it destroys your skin. wrong
the lorry is just where that van is. Top corner where Astra is still thing. Yeah, and if you walk the alley out, big big tree back. Yeah. Yep. Railways. Mm. Go to the top for this one purely for the fact that the plastic's full on that side. So I'm doing laps around the bin. It'll go up 180 it. Kapow. Cool. Shift that slightly. So now when I go back, oh come on, neither of them. I can uh oh jeez, words, words, words. Fit it on, there we go. Front one, the rear one, which should be bring me back to the handles. There we go. So see one of the guys on the horizon there. I can hear one to my right. Oh, come on, fit, fit, fit. Come on, come on. Yes, that'll do. Blimey, he's storming. So. We'll quickly get these three loosens. Oh, they're all loose, aren't they? You know what I mean? Mine bother hooking these on, it's going to take too long. So, bing, bong, bing. We'll carry that one. A bit more. See what I mean? So, I've done the alleyway, which does seem like a significant amount of work. There's only what? Six of eight gaffs. Uh, just kept the work moving. Not sitting there twiddling my thumbs waiting for people to drag bins out when the bins fall like that. I'll get them.
truck here. A bunch of mate, he's gone on. So three loose ones. No, he hasn't. Okay, no problem. Near driver's door. No one has mess about the hooks because where I parked it, there's immediately more work. So, uh, 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 do, 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 Help matey. So he's got one, two, cut across, three, four. So I'll take the plastics. He could feasibly fit them on, but if I leave him some paper, keeps the work moving. I got that one, man. I got that one. So each two plastic paper sacks, no plastic to bend down for, because I've helped out, I've chipped in, pulled my weight. Yeah. Let's get this work moving. We're gonna get this done quick as possible and go home. see matey well up there so he's gone across lawn lane and chelsea's working it up so we'll finish off this uh orford crescent and we'll get to the top load the bins up and we'll join him near torquay road so bang, 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 bang. so let's see how far can we reasonably go so he'll get all them much beyond this point. Now, oh, so dump it here. So, I'm right neutral. Driver's door stuff. Enough of like that because I've done that direction. What's this plastic? Yeah, it sounds plastic to me. We'll come back to that. I've got to drop this back anyway. Bending down over that food bin's a bit right. Oh, and took my head off that as well. be done yet but need to hunker down and get on with it now stop talking and get distracted so i bid you well have a good day and thank you for your viewership stay safe see you again soon